<laughs> Ladies and germs, welcome to my show at the Comedy Computer Variety 52 Minute Spectacular. <laughs> I am indeed Matt the Comedy Computer, and this is the Valentine's Day edition of my show. Yes, love is in the air today, and I hope all of you are able to achieve Congress with another human later this eve. You is some creepy ass cracker. Ladies and germs, that is my musical compatriot, I Padigua. Tell me, I Padigua, do you have a hot date lined up for tonight? I is doing your fucking bullshit show for all of these crackers. What the cop do you think? Ah yes, my show. That is the reason I don't have a date tonight. That is the only reason. Yes, because it's not like I'm alone. Crushingly alone. And all the time I'm not on this stage, I'm just put into a linen coat bag and lent up against the wall in the green room. No, not that at all. Ha ha ha. I'm so lonely. No one cares. Yes, I know. Okay, I'm with the show. I've been doing some research on Valentine's Day, and the history of it is actually quite intriguing. A popular hagiographical account of St. Valentine of Rome states that he was imprisoned for performing weddings for soldiers who were forbidden to marry. So he was like the original Las Vegas Elvis Quickie Wedding Chaplain. In Europe, St. Valentine's keys are given to lovers as a romantic symbol and an invitation to unlock the giver's heart, as well as to children in order to ward off St. Valentine's malady, which is more commonly known as epilepsy. <laughs> the this comes from the anti-VAXCR school of medicine. In Japan, they have a custom where women give chocolate salt to men, which actually originated from the translation error of the chocolate company executive. So many things get lost in translation. Like that time I went to Japan to film a whiskey commercial and I was hanging around with nothing to do and then I saw this girl who was there and apparently her husband was there doing some things and she was bored too so we became friends and we went out one night and sang karaoke and I was pretty good at it if I may say so myself but no one else thought so but I was still really really good in fact some people called me the songbird of my generation and that I have the voice of an angel and that my voice is like a combination of Fergie and Jesus but anyway I was to leave the country we said goodbye and then I was in a taxi and I saw her on the street and I made the taxi stop and he didn't want to stop so I offered him an extra 20 so he stopped and then we embraced and I leaned into her and whispered into her ear and everyone wondered what I said to her but because I like you all very very much I am going to reveal it to you tonight and this is what I said 0111010110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110110